Hey viewers, I opened up this bottom bracket earlier today and when as I removed the cups they were a little bit rough coming out and I just you know screwed them back in and they were a little bit rough going back in. There's just a little bit of gunk down in the threads here. So I'm going to show you how to make a pair of bottom bracket thread chasing tools that you use to clean out gunk like this. Okay, I made another video where I took an old screw and made a uh, thread ch uh, chasing tool out of that and the process is the exact same thing here except I'm going to use bottom bracket cups. So I have a pair of old bottom bracket cups and you want to make sure that they're the same threading as the bottom bracket that you're going to be chasing. In this case uh, these are English threaded. So I can get rid of the lock ring. I don't need this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this into a vise. This is the adjustable cup here. And let's lock this into the, the vise here like this. And then I'm going to use a Dremel tool. I got a little cutting disc on here and I'm going to cut some notches just along the threads, perpendicular to the threads. And I don't need to go all the way through. I just need to go a little bit deeper than the threads themselves. So I got one side done here and they just go a little bit deeper than the threads but it's not perfect but it doesn't need to be and so I'm going to uh, make some notches approximately 180 degrees from those on this same uh, cup. So that's the adjustable cup and so I'm going to do the same thing on the fixed cup. And so I got my uh, two uh, thread chasing tools made here. Okay, so now to use the tools, like this is the one for the fixed cup. It's got the, the uh, little rim there. And so go, go ahead and screw it in the uh, correct direction. On this case, it's uh, to screw it in it's counterclockwise. Uh, and you want to make sure, be very careful to make sure that it's correctly threaded in there. You don't want to accidentally use the, your chasing tools to cross thread it in there and just ruin the threads. So it should start off pretty smoothly turning in there. And so I'll turn it in by hand. And I, I start feeling resistance there. So that's where it's actually going to start cleaning up the threads. So I have a, a bottom bracket tool designed for this kind of bottom bracket there. And so I'm going to use this to turn in the tool and I'll just turn that all the way in like that and then I'll go ahead and remove it. So it should have helped clean out those uh, dirty threads in there. And this is just cleaning the threads, it's not cutting new threads. It's just kind of uh, scraping out the gunk in there and this, these little slots give it a place to go. And then the same thing with the adjustable cup here. Uh, put this in here and on this bike it turns in uh, clockwise. Again, start it off by hand, it should start off pretty smoothly. And when it starts hitting resistance there, then I'm going to hit and use the tool to screw it in. So far, and then I'll go ahead and remove it. I don't need to put it all the way in. And so that is how to make uh, and use a homemade little uh, bottom bracket thread chasing tools. Hope you found that useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button. You'll see new videos as they come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a web page, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, uh, sign up for that page. I have my videos categorized. I have some forums where you can ask questions. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.